I graduated from uh, undergrad at Rose Holman Institute of Technology in 2006 and then uh, went and worked on the East Coast for a little while in the defense industry. Uh, but while I was in undergrad and, and even to some extent uh, while I was in industry, I was very much engaged with the startup community, had, uh, had a passion for, for startups. And it was something that I always wanted to do and wanted to kind of get back to uh, throughout my career. So I thought that getting an MBA at, uh, at Olin would be a, you know, kind of a great transition to kind of re-engage, you know, with the startup community and, and find, you know, what could be something uh, more lasting in terms of a career. And you can see everywhere from, from Pittsburgh to Denver and everywhere in between, there's really these budding startup you know, ecosystems. And it's, it's younger kids thinking that you know, it's cool to be an entrepreneur, they want to start their own company, but it's also professional people who haven't necessarily had the best experience in corporate America and have kind of rather would, would do some of their own thing. Uh, that kind of combined with this you know, really decreasing costs in terms of developing technology or startup, starting a business has led to an explosion of, uh, of startup companies. I, I think you know, when you're contemplating entrepreneurship, it's a, it's a very personal uh, decision. It's a, it's a very personal part of your life. And in some of the ways that, that I have gotten comfortable with it or, or that other people get comfortable with it is just by hearing experiences. And uh, that's certainly something that I did was, was talk to people about it. And I think you know, coming back to campus and hearing you know, how the other people are involved in venture capital and entrepreneurship is, is one way for, for people to kind of explore and see if they're comfortable in that particular career.